Hi everybody, it's Keith Demo here from Cobalt Tech, and I'm going to walk through a short video and show you how we distribute a Tableau data extract file over to Tableau server. All right, so I've got a few screens up here. We have a CMC Central Management Console. We have Tableau server and our BI Launchpad. Okay, so for starters, what we're going to do is just move to our folder here under Tableau, full demo. Now the idea, what I want to do is create a web intelligence report that contains all the data that is required to populate the data within the Tableau workbooks for the users on Tableau server. So if we move over to Tableau server here, you'll see that a user would log in here and they'll have a number of workbooks available for them. And when that Tableau data extract file is sent over here, and that could be done any time through the day or on the hour, how often it needs to be done, you could set it up that way within the publication, or you can have it even triggered on an event. So when ETL process finishes, that Tableau data extract file then can be distributed over to Tableau server. The users then log in and their workbooks will be refreshed with the new data. As well, they can also create an ad hoc type workbook on the fly with that tablet data extract file that they have available for them. All right. So what we want to do is we're going to create a web intelligence report. Now, if you're working with BW or Crystal, you can use that as well. But typically, more often than not, web intelligence, a uh, great query type of a tool that most companies would use when using this solution. So we're going to log in to our BI Launchpad here. I'm going to open up Web Intelligence. Select the universe. I'm going to choose this universe right here. Okay. So we're just going to select all these folders. I'm going to move them over to here and we're going to run this query. Now many of you would be familiar with web intelligence and going through this process, but I'm just going to walk through the the entire process here to send this TDE file over to Tableau server. So we're going to save this now in the folder where I was just at in Tableau here, or business objects. So full demo folder. Okay, we're going to call this Superstore. All right, so we're going to save that Webby report. Great. All right, let's come back over to our CMC. We're just going to refresh this. There we go. We have our Superstore. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to set up a, create a publication. So we're going to go through that. We're going to call this, because the specific data in this uh, Superstore Webby contains sales information. So sales by city. Superstore publication, as you can see, I've comes up here. I've done this before. So, okay, description, uh, sales, and revenue by city. Let's put that there. Source document. It's going to be our Superstore web report. So let's find that. Okay, we'll add that. Great. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, we're going to use, we're going to send this over to Tableau, as I mentioned. Okay, so let's Tableau users. We have four users over in Tableau. We also have our users within, I'm going to show you, go to users within uh, business objects because one of the other videos, I actually walked through the whole process and getting started with uh, Tableau Connect. So that means creating a TDE file. If you don't have Tableau Server, for example, you would create a TDE file and you would open that up with Tableau Desktop to create your Tableau workbook. And we would send that 
over to our business objects users inbox. So we're going to do that as well. Okay, so let's move them over here. So sales UNX. That's fine. Okay, we're going to be going to our BI inboxes. Okay, so here's where the Tableau Connect solution plugs in. So this is where everything happens, all right? Now, class name. I want you to refer to, we're going to go back to tableau-connect.com. We're going to go down to try a 15-day evaluation. Now, on this uh, page here, we have tutorials and installation instructions. This one specific tutorial, we're going to open this up because we need something from here. Okay, so this tutorial is Tableau Connect with Tableau Server Tutorial Web Intelligence Document, step one. We need the class name right here that you see, okay? So we're going to come back over to here. We're going to plug that in. Of course, it's prompted that way already, and we're going to add that. All right, great. So that's about it. We don't need to do anything else there. We have our publication set. Okay. So, and the specific users that will be receiving the TDE file will only get the data that they are allowed to see because all security is synced up within business objects itself, all right? And those profiles have already been created for that specific UNX. I didn't walk through any of that. I'm just setting up the publication to send over that TDE file. Those security rights for each of those users has already been defined, all right? So let's, uh, let's find our publication here. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this and create or have that TDE Tableau data extract file sent over to Tableau, as well as the uh, business objects users inboxes. Okay, so let's run that. Okay, so let's move over to our Tableau server environment here. Let's go over to projects and here we go. Sales by city, superstore publication. Now there's four data sources because I'm logged in here as an administrator, all right? But each user specifically will be getting their own data. Okay, so this might be east, west, central, however that's defined within business objects itself. But you can see we can just open up a Tableau data extract file and from that file itself, we can create a workbook, okay? Just like that. All right? So, but typically, a user is going to have their, like I had mentioned before, they're going to have workbooks here uh, or a series of workbooks that will be actually refreshed based on that latest Tableau, da Tableau data extract file that they've received. Okay, so and of course we can go to our inboxes within business objects here, and here you go. We have a TDE file that was sent over to uh, a user. Now this here, I walk through this portion in another video when I'm actually going to create a Tableau workbook. So when I open this up, if I click on this, it'll open up tab Tableau Desktop, and then that's how I would create my Tableau workbook, and then of course I would store that back within Business Objects itself, and then we would set that publication up again, and it would distribute those uh, workbooks. Okay, so if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Uh, my uh, contact information is on the website, and other than that, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Bye for now.